welcome to another beautiful sunny, sunny, bright, and almost spring-like day. I guess it's spring. Almost summer-like day here in Saurita. Welcome to Saurita Casita. It's Brenda Schwader. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm so happy to be here, you guys. So this is our second, second, second video with uh, John B. John B. is now my sponsor. Mwah. So excited for all of the stuff that I'm going to be able to share with you, all the great, great products. Um, and this month, it seems like it's link month <laughs> because that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get rid of a few of these other things here. You know it's me. We'll get rid of that. Boo, boo, boo. And just see this beautiful, beautiful link. And we're going to work on a, little, a few more of these. Uh, oh, Kathy. And hi, Spidey Stamps. Nice to see you here again. Um, yeah, so um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today um, for a little bit of a lusciousness. This is what we did last week, Thursday. These are called the uh, Atterbead, Kine uh, Atterbead Kinetic Links, guys. Um, I did this version and I also did that version with some found objects and steel wire. You know me, I've got to get my two loves in there as well. Uh, but the principles are all the same, and that is the cool part of, uh, of, of working in wire, right? So I want to mention, too, that what I've been doing, for those of you who know me from now that's Jig Days, right, before that silly little product went on sabbatical, what I have always done is, um, well, for most of the time, is to create these types of, we call them pattern templates, and you basically just slip them right onto the top of your jig bed, and we're away, all the instructions are right there. Uh, the assistant with the most is Miss Sarah Hannes, is uh, always, she's just right up there with her graphics on those, and we chalk, chalk a buck full of information. But for you guys, what we do is we take that jig bed out, and these are, these are available on, um, www.brendaschwader.etsy.com and we dejig these, okay? For you guys, all the essential information for you to do these is right here and so that you can create all the links. We're gonna be making these quarter inch length, uh, quarter inch um, bead links. And then, oop, also, oop. <laughs> It's <laughs> so hard to know which side. I'm never gonna get that. It's so counterintuitive to the half inch ones. And of course you can make a number of other ones, but these are the ones that we're going to be able to make with our pliers, with your round nose pliers, with your bailing pliers, if you have those at home. Uh, do look at those skews that are uh, up in the comments there. And then what I do also is create these step-by-step -step instructions, okay? Uh, and these are all for you guys, the pictures, a little bit of, you know, you know, there's hashtags under here. Make sure you do hashtags so you can see what other people are doing. Um, and then all of the materials, the tools down here. Second page, who knows, maybe these will go into three and four pages, depending on how complex we get. These are, what we're doing today is pretty simple. And what we're going to be doing here is just follow these along. Um, pretty easy to do. I've written instructions for years now. I've uh, written a couple books, so they should be pretty good for you to be able to read. But you know what? I'm always here for you guys. So um, yes, Kathy, they are. So we're all we're creating two sets now, <laughs> two sets. So um, and so those are all available at www.brendashwader. No. That's my URL. Let's put down here, www.brenda, E-R-E-N-D-A, helps, dot Etsy, dot com. And um, what Sarah does when she loads these up, because she's just the bestest, um, she always puts the ones that were on today under our featured items on Etsy. And that what we do is we've created a whole brand new section uh, category on Etsy. Uh, for all the John B. templates. So if you're like afraid, and this happened once uh, last week, poor, poor, poor Erdy, um, she got the wrong ones. We just, you know, said, grab the other ones, we'll refund you, even though it's it's non-refundable because it just goes the minute, the minute that you buy it. Um, just make sure that you're in the uh, the John B. category, or look at the very first SKU, and that'll say either Entage or JB. 
guess which one's which. You guys are a smart bunch, so I know how you I know you know how to figure that out. So, um, I want to show you what's on my little palette today. Miss Carmi called this a tablescape. I'm so excited that I have a tablescape to share with you guys. This is the tablescape of the day. day. So we're working with the Earth's Jewels, you guys. These are the uh, turquoise green, aren't they absolutely luscious? And then these are peach adventuring. And I love the shape because they go really well with these guys. So this is the half inch link, you guys. Pretty neat, huh? And you would think, so you're like, oh my gosh, these are pretty big beads, right? But if you go to the half inch, it fits really well in there. So you have to remember only half of that bead is going to be into the middle. So you actually have quite a bit of room here. And that bead serves as the connection point. So, um, you know, if you're not a solder, you know that what's under here is this opening to, the, to this link right here, right? So here's a smaller one I made. And this is uh, the quarter inch one. It's basically a big jump ring, right? But this is uh, the link that we are going to be working with today. These, and I just kept with the gold, um, but I thought what would be, be fun is to continue on with some copper color that'll go with this, uh, this peach adventuring pretty darn well today. And then, doo -doo -doo. so, what I'm teaching you today is a link, but you can see that even if we, uh, the bonus project last uh, week was this cool neck arc that you can make. You can grab that uh, template off of uh, the Etsy site that I put you on today. And just even a few darn links will make this um, come alive here. And I've just continued. I think I got myself trapped last week. <laughs> But you just sort of like this neck arc. Let's see if I can find it here. Many things around my neck. Okay, maybe I should find it first and see if I can. All right, we're gonna take it off. So I have both sides. <laughs> How much fun, right, Erdy? I know that you had this little concern last week, but we got you figured out. Okay. Hi, Janelda. Hi, Jan. So quick and easy, interchangeable. We all like when uh, our jewelry works for us. And if you're a gold person especially, you can just use all the gold wire. And there you are. Boom, boom. Six different links. And you have a necklace on the fly. Alrighty. So, but... It wouldn't be a Brenda Schwader video without a few found objects. So I said, what can I do with found objects today? And I found these cool roll, roll kind of dice. I don't have no idea. You guys would be able to tell me um, what game these are from. Come like with like, do you, do you guys ever play Yahtzee? There's a little cup that these came from. And I don't know where I got them. Probably at Goodwill or something like that. And... So I thought we could make some links with this because, you know, why only show you one thing when we can show you two or three? The other thing I wanted to share here is look at this fabulous, fabulous piece. Is this not the, the Beads of Courage pieces are starting to roll in, you guys. Um, I'll, I'll show you a few more at, uh, in a little bit. But this piece, oh my God, I'm so happy. Sally Hoffman from Sally Hoffman's Design. She's right here in, uh, well, she winters here in Green Valley and she goes up to Pine Top in the, in the summer to get away from the Southern Arizona heat. Isn't this fabulous? So I thought, kind of the reason I thought I wanted to do another link today was to figure out, so this is a col collaboration that Sally and I are going to do, put together for our Beads of Courage friends. You guys know that, um, and some of you are involved in some of the work that we're doing. We're going to have an auction of different uh, items from that you guys have put together with us from for Beads of Courage in April. So... Um, so yes, yeah, so the collaboration is that she did this pendant and she said, why don't you do a chain? Well, yes, I am going to. So I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do a chain and bring the turquoise in. 
Um, I'm looking for the, the, the turquoise links and I actually have them on my body, don't I? Hi, Lena. <laughs> Fashion blue late. That ought to be me. But not today, not today. I'm right on time. So here I take the necklace off again. I was thinking, so I'm kind of trying these out and I'm wondering what you guys think. I think it might be too much. Here, let's let's kind of like move these guys off to the side. I want your opinion. Because I'm, I'm kind of trying this out, but I'm wondering, is that just going to be too much for this? You know, do we need something smaller? Do we need, I don't know. We'll have to put it to a vote. Let's make a bunch of chains in the next couple weeks, and then we will, um, we'll see. We'll see which one, and, or maybe we'll do all three, right? <laughs> Talk about versatility. Oh my goodness. So anyway, so let's get down to um, brass tacks. But before we do this, I just remembered Linda Larson has sent her her piece in. If you guys remember these, so so this um, this phase, this session of our beads of courage thing is called D stash. And so these are some of the D stash pieces that I um put together i just kind of want to get you guys going because i know that we extended the um oh hi sally <laughs> oh you should catch up because we were just talking about you you probably know that um oh you want to pick up the copper colors oh that's not a bad idea jan um so anyway this is my d stash you guys can work with yours the, ex the deadline has been extended to uh, February 24th because we have the, that time since uh, the gem shows have been uh, pushed back from February, 10 weeks until April. We have more and more time to do some cool things together. So back to Linda Larson. She picked up this. You guys might see this. Let me, let me see if we can even look at see where this particular thing was in the scoop here. But anyway... Uh, I'm not seeing it. It might be under the John Feed logo, but this, you guys, is what came in from the lovely Linda Larson. Oh my God! I opened it night uh, yesterday. I was gonna open it on camera, but I couldn't wait for you guys. I just had to see what she uh, she did. This gorgeous ring, and this coin is actually sort of not sort of. It is square with some rounded corners here. So, isn't this gorgeous what she did? And look. Look, 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 look at this nice chunky band. This is a size eight. So if you guys aren't participating, or even if you are, Sally was saying she wants, she's gonna participate, but she also wants to, um, to bid. And it's all for the kids of Beads of Courage. Isn't this great? So on top of everything here, I'll do, I'll do a QVC. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Um, anyway, so on top of this, now I, of course I texted her right away. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gorgeous. Thank you for participating. Thank you for making such a beautiful thing. On top of this, I'm just going to read you what she said. Get for Clint. Brenda, here is my piece for the charity auction. Uh, now Linda and I go way back. We've teach, uh, taught together. Um, she's just a hoot. I love her. I hope it makes uh, money for a good cause. It's a size eight. I'm happy to donate another coin ring at a custom fit if someone wants it. What a great, what a great addition. This is so cool. My coin or theirs. Um, and then on top, on top of that, this is just the prize that keeps on giving. She is making, she just threw these earrings together. Aren't these gorgeous? Is this like picture Jasper, you guys who know your stones? Isn't this gorgeous? So these are going to be in there. Um, I was going to show them to my sister, but I'm like, I can't even take them out of here because I just don't. <laughs> She's staying at my mom's house. I just didn't want to maybe even lose this or do anything. So isn't this gorgeous? So the ring, the promise of another ring, custom to someone, the earrings. And then I texted her, thank you, thank you, thank you. And she said, oh, do you want me to make another one? I have plenty of rings at home. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> if I was asking for myself, I would be like, oh, humble. Oh, no, no, no. 
I like for the kids, right? So you got to ask for more. So Linda Larson, mwah, we absolutely love you. You're the best girl. Hey, Bev. Um, excuse me. So, okay, blah, blah, blah. I should probably take a drink. <laughs> I'm so excited. But what I want to do is I want to show you how to make these links. So let's come on back down here. Focus, fo focus, Brenda. And you can do, you can tell me, I, I'm really kind of liking this now. What well, we're going to have to do this, like, you know, me, I love to take surveys and I love voting. So we'll do that through, um, through the blog too. Okay. So back to this. These, um, when you are deciding, and I just like, obviously I couldn't decide, so I was like, look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces here that are rolling off. I'm going to put this guy over here so I don't hurt Sally's piece. So when I'm figuring out which uh, links I want, and this is first thing in the instructions, you kind of take a look and see, okay, what is going to work? Now, this link works best if it's got some length to it. I didn't pick these from, I didn't pick these that are more like rondelles because I wanted more glue area, right? More glue real estate to be able to, to um, you know, fix this on, on this, um, on this link, right? Um, and so I didn't use these. I was, I was just scared <laughs> to use these on this. But I could probably use some of these smaller ones. Yes, I could on these, on these smaller links, right? So this is when I went to the half inch. I always have to add value for you guys because you know what? You deserve it. You deserve it so darn much. Um, but that's why these two especially work so well. Now, all of these, uh, these Earth's Jewels, Pillow packs like this is a hundred grams, you guys, of beautiful uh, beads, um, and they're not all the same. So these are cut a little bit more rounded squares, right? Speaking of rounded squares from the ring, these are a little bit more ovalish, right? But then there's some nuggets in here too, and I love all these color combinations, just absolutely gorgeous. So that's the first thing that I wanted to tell you is that you'll get the hang of like what is going to work. And also know um, what gauge. So when we're talking about this uh, drill here, um, you'll you'll want to, you know, not all um, beads are drilled the same. So let's go ahead and let's just. What do you guys think? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's go. This gorgeous, gorgeous orange color. Uh, this skew I don't think I put on here. So this skew, uh, if someone wouldn't mind being my scribe. Um, is seven four seven two triple zero two triple zero two dash ten. So ten is the color. Okay, let's grab some of this this gorgeousity and we'll make some links. But getting back to what I want to tell you is that I always do check before. <laughs> before you um, you do this I always like to leave this attached as long as I possibly can but let's grab this and I'm always going to start off by doing some straightening here and especially if you're testing too you never know you want this to be as straight as possible and this is where I'm going to test and see what kind of goes in here Beautiful. That's how you know it's going to work, right? That is how you know. Okay. Also, I want to show you guys too, and you know I'm all over the place here, but we're just going to, this is, this is me, and hopefully you love me anyway. But what's really impressive on this, and I showed you this last week uh, when we did the other one. By the way, this is called bead connection link, okay? All of your measurements are right here how much wire you need for each link, where I want you to. This is this one right here, this dimension, two, down, 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 whatever. This is your lead amount. And what I mean by that is, so say, 
Let's just start with the quarter, the quarter inch link. If I want a lead of two inches, that is where I'm going to grasp my wire. Okay. And then, then that's how you know, it's basically sort of where you start or where you grasp. Okay. This is really exciting because this is, I'm just, I'm just getting the, the, the willies because this is going to be a really great link. Mm -hmm. Now you can just do things like, um, organically if you want and sometimes that's how how I roll but it, for those of you who really want some consistency uh, before you have the jig here's how you get I've got four different setups on here three quarter one inch one and three quarter one and one quarter and one half so that is how if you want to lay this down on here uh, you will figure out how big your links are going to be Right now, I'm just gonna kind of go like a little bit more willy-nilly on here because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pick up one of these beads here, the smaller one, and I'm going to grasp this. Again, I'm just working right off of this, but you don't have to if you don't want to. We're gonna do all of your cutting first. As a matter of fact, that is how I say to go do it. Now, so this is pretty long, right? And so you know a soft wire, this, the longer and the bigger, the more air you have in a link like this, that is going to, it's like a hula hoop, right? Uh, without that reinforced wall of the hula hoop, it's gonna plop down. And we know that this aluminum wire is very soft, which makes it super easy to form and needs a little bit more work to make it into a, um, into a piece that is going to hold up to wear and tear of being jewelry. So I'm going to keep this guy here very parallel and very straight as I can. And I, what I want to do here is I want to overlap my two ends. Okay. So I'm going to take that out of there. You can see how lovely that's coming together. Nice. And I'm going to grab... Um, I'm going to grab either my side cutter, or what I can do is grab, and all the SKUs for this, you guys, are in the notes above. This is actually the memory wire cutter, but what this memory wire cutter is as well, and we don't need this heavy duty cutter, cutter for this, but what it is is it's a shear, and the shear is a double flush cutter. And so what I love to do is, I'm gonna put my peepers back down, is I know that if I use this right here, I'm gonna make one cut and I know it's gonna be right next to each other and it's going to be blunt on each side. So even though I don't need this, I love this tool for this. So off comes this and you can see that I've got this. I've got a tiny, tiny bit of waste which goes right in my little waste paper basket and then I've got that link, and you know that is going to be very perfect just to be able to butt up. So if you're not using something that, like, obviously you're not going to, uh, any of this enameled or foiled wire, you're not going to be able to solder this. But if you're working in a, a, a silver or a semi-precious, you've got this right uh, at your disposal. Now, what I'm not liking here is some of this, um, this um, rippling here. Uh, that I wasn't able to form quite well. So I love, 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 love taking my chain nose or if you've got a flat nose, by the way, this is the John Bead Pro line that I'm in love with this handle now. And just nudge, 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 nudge. And you're basically doing that straightening, look at that, right there. And you're going to want to do the straightening, you guys, before you take it to your bench block. Okay? Which is what we're going to do right now. So um, I listed the nylon job, or the nylon job, the nylon plier from John B. I don't have that yet. So what we can use is um, another. <laughs> 
hardware store one. There's a little make around. You know what? We're always doing work arounds or make arounds. And this will help prevent. This will harden, but it's also going to prevent us from getting too, any mars in this beautiful wire. Especially when it's so soft. This craft wire is soft, you guys, but it can be used for jewelry. So here we go. We've got this beautiful, beautiful um, piece here. And look at this. this is looking really Santa Fe already, isn't it? With the orange and the turquoise. That's actually very pretty as well. Now, so you've got this and this. And all we need to do is we're going to, oh, by the way, here's a little note here. Is you don't want to wail on this connection too, too much. Uh, we're just going to open this like a jump ring here because we still want this to fit through. Okay. And there we go. But before we do that, we're going to get out our E6000 and beating all something very, very, very skinny that we can use to get this in there. Okay. Um, I forgot to get my wipes, so I'm just going to, I can just grab them. Fortunately, the way that they're actually put away is right here. I always have a wipe at the ready, right? And instead of squirting it out, I'm going to just go right in there and grab some glue. Whoops, don't have to go very far. This is a little gelatinous. Gel gelatinous? Gelatinous. <laughs> and I'm just going to go right back in here. Don't gunk it up too much. And into the other end as well. Okay, looks like I'm almost getting off screen. I like to clean this as I go. <laughs> because you know glue. And then I'm going to put it in here. And then this place you almost have to kind of like bring it back. So you're going to deform it a little bit to get it in there. And I'm just going to feed it on in there. Now, clean up a little bit of that glue. This is why people get a little crazy. Like when I was learning from Keith Labou, he was like, glue was like the G word. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes you just need a little epoxy. Okay. And you get, you know, you probably want to do this assembly line style, right? And then um, I'm just going to clean that up here. Get back in there with that nudge, nudge, nudge. Those are your colors, Danielle. That's so cool. And just because I had to kind of distort it here, I'm just going to go back in here and I'm going to do my, my nudging. And I still have that beautiful shape. And I'm going to let it dry. Now, what I say in the, um, in the instructions is go ahead and make all of these what i would suggest is you kind of want to sort of like make all of your links uh, before you put the connectors on because right this is like making that wrapped loop uh, and forgetting to put things on is you're going to make half of these with the, the bead uh, already glued in there then hi stephanie uh then you're going to um hey shelly how you doing um, you're going to make the other half by making the connections, right? So what I'm trying to say is, so hey, you've got this, but now you're like, oh, oh no, they're both connected. How do I put them together? Well, you're going to make another one right with it. I was hoping. See, this is the 12 gauge. No, this is, yeah, this is actually 12 gauge brass that I was kind of like, seeing uh, if would work but let's just use this to, for demonstrating purposes since it's not right, Sally gave me some 12 gauge brass so that's when you're going to do your connecting right and you're going to go ahead and just 
feed that in as far as it'll go. This one I might need my chain nose because it's a very short link. Hey, Sa hey, Sandy. You know what? You guys are blowing my cover. Next week I was going to do a paperclip link for you guys. Would that be fun? And so this one, I'm just going to have to, oh, I hope I don't crack this bead. The brass is one of those. Yeah, I just want to, there we go. We're going to feed it in, feed it in, feed it in. Okay. This one, <laughs> see, I, I basically just marred that shape of that. Um, and there's not a whole lot of uh, room to commit, correct it. But uh, you get the you get the um, the idea. That is how, and because this is going in at all kinds of angles, it's in there pretty darn good. Um, there's kind of a tension fit going on in there. Um, but besides the fact that you've got some 12 gauge, is it 12? No, I think it was 16 that she gave me. Um, I put it away so I wouldn't use it all. Um, but anyway, so that's how you do your connections. Now. What I like doing is that these are really built, and I thought this is because it's also kind of a a, a bit of a beginner project, uh, although it's got a whole lot of impact, is that you can make this long enough to be able to, um, you know, to just plop it over your head. Um, that precludes you from doing any type of, you know, double strand or wrapping it twice around or whatever. Um, um, but that's the way that this one's designed, right? You can add your own, add your own clasp or whatever, and we'll be doing those in, in uh, future segments as well. But I look at this gorgeous orange right against this. This is so exciting to me. <laughs> you can tell when I get excited during my lives. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and let's go and make one out of, I didn't have any, um, any fabulous uh, black 18 gauge Carmi. I gotta get some of that. Gotta get me some of that. I gotta get all the colors. I think, I think we have black in the, in the John Deed store. Um, so you can just see it nudging. That's just, that's just what I, I sometimes do. And, um, but if you want to, you can also just take and straighten a length of wire. Wake up, everybody. Let's try a half inch link. And I'm just going to, because this is so wieldy over here, I'm just going to actually take, and you can use your memory wire cutters, guys, for this because that's what memory wire is, steel. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off right away, okay? So I am going to make one with a bail making pliers. And this is how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab this. I believe this one's also in the skew, okay? putting it through where I get a good grasp on this. This is like a half inch uh, one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is, right, I know that I want to, uh, to overlap here. Let's grab this. And I'm gonna grab it right here too. And just do another overlap. Because we already did that straightening, we've got those nice straightaways here that are really super, super uh, straight. And we've got that really at the ready. Now this doesn't, you know, I, I'm just doing these by the fly, but if, again, if you want them to be a certain size, your half inch is really, looks like we made about a one and a quarter um, link. So, 
back to that connection, and that's why we want this nice and overlapped here, is we're gonna take that. This is the Brenda organization. I have to find that same thing that we worked with right now. And we're just gonna take both at the same time. I like to have it centered. You can do whatever you want, but know that you know you have this area here. I would center it. I would center it because you want that bead to have some room and to because you're not going to be able to once it starts curving you guys we can't use that to um, you know in our bead work so I'm going to go grab here and here and then we've got our link <laughs> and I injured myself the same place that I've injured myself last week <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to <laughs> figure something else out when I'm uh, holding my thing okay so let's go ahead and we're going to use now that's a hammer though I've got the ones that you can use on steel to go ahead and make this all in the same plane right now in the ins I shouldn't talk over my hammering in the instructions oh I got a good blood blister coming up here up oh, and It's so funny. The only person to ever get injured in my classes is me. Okay, so right here we've got this, and we could just basically do the same thing. But what I wanted to do was this. I didn't want to. If I would have, I drilled, pre-drilled these, you guys, uh, with my drill press, and I, I didn't want to, you know, go into any of the words because, you know, so cute. But we can also drill wherever we want. So let's dry fit this. Again, we're gonna sort of open it as a jump ring. And I'm gonna slide it on as far as I can get it so that I don't have to distort this too, too much. And again, let's grab that chain link and go in there. And it's so funny, it's almost like a fidget uh, brace, bracelet or link, right? I mean, it, how adorable is that? I really, really like it. And you know, when you're stuck at the dentist office or you're waiting for to get your nails done, <laughs> you can tell a story with your necklace. Pretty darn cute. I think I'll make that up and show you guys how that makes up for later. So... <laughs> Carmi, isn't that, I, I don't mean to shame you into getting me stuff, <laughs> but, and you know, and, and, and Carmi doesn't mind if I use uh, steel wire too uh, in my things, I don't think, um, but um, actually, I'm just going to further do this a little bit, And always remember, now this will also cute, be a cute uh, bracelet idea or, you know, you could just do something fun, especially if you would add some sort of uh, like little loop here for a bail. You could make this be your earring or from this side here um, um, with all kinds of different options to, to show you. Also, if we wanted to make this as a bracelet, now you know a bracelet is there's smaller real estate here. So what I was thinking is, let's take this apart, is that we could actually just bend this. Can I grab this and get this out of here now? You know what? We're just going to. Hey, Mary Dreyer. Get that out of there so I can get this link again. Just keep obsessing about this a little bit. Um, is that you can start bending these into, I'm going to just take my chain nose here. Oh, thank you, Carmi. How awesome. I love that. Is just sort of like bend these maybe just a little bit more geometrically so that we can start um, having it be shaped to the body, right? 
So when you've got something like this, and you can you can kind of mess around with some of the um, um, some of the um, angles here, but you know that our jewelry is art for the body, and so we do need to pay attention to how things fit. Like last week, we were talking about how the fit goes around the shoulders, um, and how um, you know, and and uh, how things hang. Um, but this is also a cute idea too, and you wouldn't necessarily need to do, um, a, you know, sort of an angle. You could press it against, let me just see here, where is our, is that funny? Like, I, I, tr I tried to train myself to always put my tools back in the same place, but... And so, you know, take a bail making pliers maybe and then just do just a, a little curving to that. And so you've got either a curve or maybe more of a harder angle in here to be able to, um, you know, make your bracelet all the way around. So when we're, when we're working with, when we're working with uh, jewelry, elements especially, links, elements, focals, always know that there's more than one way to put something together you know just because you're working with a link doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a necklace it can you know it can be something else a lot of different types of things more things than even I can think of at the time at this time <laughs> and that also translates to home deck or on this I had this Carmen and I were talking this morning and I'm like okay we could do this and this and this I'm really into garlands lately. I just I just like the idea of garlands and so bigger links or smaller links with bigger things on them, as long as they're sturdy enough, can be garlands, you know, for your wall, for a doorway. Um, just, I have a garland on, on one of the bedroom windows here. Um, just, just love them. Be a tree. <laughs> so, cool. All right, you guys, um, golly gee. So I hope you have enjoyed this today. I think we're just gonna try to keep figuring out what kind of link is gonna be good for this. Next next week, I was thinking of maybe a paperclip link, but we also have, um, working ahead a little bit here, uh, a review, a refresh of our adjustable bangle. It's gonna be right back here. Here they are. Tempting, tempting. So, you know, I have the Dead with Found object one and with more of the, uh, the um, Earth's Jewels. This time I used up most of the Mookalite, one of my favorites. I love Mookalite. It's those beautiful fall colors. Um, so. <laughs> You see the garland, yes. So, um, so it look good with that, yes. Yes, Terry, very good, very good dear. So I'm just gonna kinda look back here and see if I missed anything. I've been so intent on, um, um, oh, I'm so glad you have, you. this is a new technique, Stephanie. That's wonderful. Um, making sure that I've answered everything. Minky is late. I call you Minky, but I know you're Shelly. Okay. It's great to see all you guys here. Thanks for popping in. You guys have a ton of other lives that you can watch. So, um, so just to review, if you uh, want to, or if you already have some D-Stash projects coming uh, my way for, for the Beads of Courage auction, which will happen in April, um, let me know that deadline has been extended until uh, February 24th. Uh, Deb Floros, who is my dear friend here, has decided that decided she has offered to help me with some of the prep work for that because I was like freaking out. I was getting overwhelmed. <laughs> How am I gonna do this all by myself? <laughs> I have these grand ideas and then I think, how is this gonna get done? But we will do it. We will do it.
do it. We also have a lot of follow through here. So uh, please do that. If you're if you're using your DStash from home, just uh, just email me or message me for my home address. Um, just haven't been putting it out there for the world to see. Um, but those, uh, if you did get something from the DStash on uh, an Etsy, any of these pieces here, and I know there's more coming. Uh, I've seen some of them. I can't wait to show you more. Um, uh, those instructions are all in that. And my plea to you is if you have purchased something, just the purchasing is just uh, for the mailing costs. Um, if you've committed to something, please, please do uh, follow through. Um, we didn't have a problem at all. Um, I'm just uh, reiterating that this is all for the kids. And so I know you have it in you to, uh, to finish this off. So super duper. Um, also, um, I want to tell you that I would love it if you would sign up for, subscribe to my newsletter. Um, and uh, you can find that in the uh, landing page or the registration page for that on my, uh, basically on, at the top of Burma Schrader Jewelry page. I think I have it pinned as a post there. Uh, also my Instagram page, um, blah, 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 which is right here, at Burma Schrader Jewelry on Instagram. So we would love to see what you guys do. I'm like, this is so silly. We would love to see what you guys do with, go away. Um, with any of the elements that we've made here. Um, so I'd love love it if you would um, share them to the Brenda Schrader Jewelry page. Always, um, always loving to see what you guys do um, with that. I know Donna, um, Donna Hoblet did something uh, with the Atta, Atta Bead connected, Kinetic Link last week. So that was like, still my heart. I love that. So I know Deb is the best. She's the best. So, and she lives pretty close to me now. So, mwah. all right. Mwah. Love you guys. Um, please do uh, consider sharing this. Um, we want to spread all the John Bead love and the uh, Bead Connection love. And don't forget that all of those uh, instructions and templates are at www.brandishwader.etsy.com. Yes, hashtag John Big Corp. Oh, yes. Awesome. Thanks, Carmi. That is wonderful. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So, 50 minutes worth of uh, content here today for you. <laughs> you know, I love you. Got my nails done for you. It's, great. it's a, gray, a gray day today. And um, also, we have some. Um, one final announcement, sorry. We have the Great Bee Extravaganza is going to be doing their next, uh, I call it, should have been Tucson Gem Shows, should have been the Tucson Gem Shows uh, virtual bead show. Um, that'll be uh, the first weekend in February. And guess who is gonna be doing the sort of, uh, how would we say, kickoff walk. We're gonna do a, a desert walk. And uh, John Bede and I are working on something special to share with you. Um, I kept my last Sunday night, I'm very last on Sunday night um, as well, so I'll be first and last for that. But mark your calendars um, for Friday. I think it's the 5th, 6th, and 7th of February. So that would have been Tucson, so we're holding, holding court there. All right. Hey, Don. I love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Mwah. Thanks.